welcome to this Monday edition of Second Grade News. Today is Monday, December 14th, 2020. Please stand and join with Hannah as she leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Awesome job, Hannah. This month, our animal that represents the value is the Angora goat. Angora goats are kept on farms all around the world. These goats are best known for being the softest and most fluffy goats in the world. They are often kept on farms for their hair, which is called mohair. Their mohair can be turned into many things, including socks, scarves, sweaters, and coats. It seems like Angora goats know the meaning of generosity because they make someone's day by giving their hair away. Now, over the past two weeks, we have learned to say the meaning of generosity. We have learned how to know it. We have seen it. And this week, we're going to learn how to be it. So we're going to look at some ways that we can be generous. I love this time of year. Mrs. Warren loves it too. We had our tea time the other morning and she told me stories of how she always decorated with her sisters. And their house was so beautiful with the Christmas lights. Those stories got me thinking. I asked Miss Elizabeth if my friends and I could come in and secretly decorate Mrs. Warren's house while she was out one day. We watched Mrs. Warren drive away and took all the stuff inside. We played music. It was like a party. This is Warren almost cried when she saw what we did. In a good way. All right, guys. So this week is the final week before our holiday break. And unfortunately, it is our last week of virtual learning together. I know some of you guys are going to stay virtual and you're going to get to go hang out with Miss Johnson and her virtual class, which is going to be so much fun. You guys will be just next door. So I will pop in and see you guys, I promise. Okay. And I know some of you are coming back traditionally to the school. So this is our last week together. So we're going to have some fun. All right. On Monday and Tuesday, we are going to keep with our reading groups, but we won't have um, a lot of this. Um, books to read that we did. Miss Gates will do some read alouds and um, we'll get a chance to just kind of hang out and then talk about our books. And then we will also have lots of fun holiday um, activities that we're going to get to do on Seesaw and in groups as well. But we do still have a little bit of work left to do. We have some checklist assessments that we need to finish up as well. So I need you to promise that you will not stop working for me. Okay, we're going to knock these checklist assessments out and have some fun this week. All right, I hope you guys have a fabulous day and we're going to swing it over to calendar to get our day started. See you soon. Good morning, guys. Let's go ahead and get started with calendar. All right, we're going to start by spelling our month. Here we go. D E C E M B E R. December. Very good. All right. Now, we know that yesterday was Sunday, which means today is Monday and tomorrow will be Tuesday, all right? On Friday, we went ahead and filled in our Saturday shape in our pattern. So today we need to fill in Sunday. So remember, our pattern has been rectangle, rhombus, square, rhombus. Rectangle, rhombus, square, rhombus. Rectangle, rhombus, square, rhombus. So what should yesterday's shape have been? It was a rectangle, very good. A rectangle, and then the shape that comes after a rectangle is a yellow rhombus, very good. So today you need to make sure that you have a rectangle and a, a blue rectangle and a yellow rhombus filled in on your chart. So 
We know that today is Monday, December 14th, 2020. Very good. All right. We are going to add the next number on our hundreds chart, which just happens to be 85. So today is the 85th day of school. All right. We're going to add another one here into our chart so that we can make them equal. So we had 84 and now we added another ones cube, which means we now have 85. So I want you to go ahead and make sure that you've colored in one more ones cube on that chart, All right? We're gonna add a penny into our pocket. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five pennies. Let's go ahead and make that trade. What can we trade five pennies for? Five pennies. One, two, three, four, five cents. So I took five cents out and I'm gonna put five cents in. Oops, wrong pocket, but you get the picture. We're gonna put five cents in. But look at this. I now have two nickels. Let's count those. Five, ten. What can I trade them for? Five cents, ten cents. I'm going to trade that for a dime. All right, here we go. Let's count our coins. We're going to start with our three quarters. Here we go. Twenty-five, fifty, seventy-five, eighty-five. So today in our pocket we have 85 cents or zero dollars and 85 cents. All right, let's draw some hands on our clock. Okay, here we go. I want you to draw, let's see if you can do this. We're gonna try something a little different. Let's see if we can draw the time 310. 310, all right? So if our hour is three o'clock, that means that our short hour hand needs to be towards the three, all right? Three, 10. So if I want my minute hand to be showing 10 minutes past the hour, I can go five, 10. And I know that my minute hand has to point all the way to the two. To the two. So our clock now shows three, 10. Good job. All right, here we go. We are going to count by tens and we're gonna start at the number 552. All right, 552. Go ahead and pause your video, count by tens and come on back and see if you were right. Here we go, 552, 562, 572, 582. 592, 602, 612, 622, 632, 642. Awesome job today, guys. I will see you later.